Hi, I'm Paul Garden, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the JFrog Advanced Security Features. Okay, I've just opened my JFrog platform. This is the screen it's brought me to. Now, to get to the um, Advanced Security Scans, you click on X-Ray, and you click on Scans List. This will show you the repositories that have already been indexed and scanned by X-Ray and the Advanced Security Features. There's a Terraform backend file. There's a Docker image here. Let's start with the Docker image. Right away, you can see this artifact is called um, Exposures Latest. Um, it shows you a summary of the vulnerabilities and the exposures, all right there on that, that screen. Let's click on this and open it. Now, right here, if you want to, you can see the SBOM of everything that's involved inside of your particular artifact. So this gives you um, the manifest of what's inside there. Let's click on uh, the security issues, uh, vulnerabilities. So this, again, there's the 179 vulnerabilities that you saw in the previous screen. Firstly, there's a feature called a contextual analysis, and it's right in the middle of the screen here. And you can see which of the CVEs you've discovered are applicable, whether they're undetermined, or quite importantly, whether they're not applicable. Now let's dig into this a little bit more. So this one says applicable. It gives you the CVE number. It gives you an upgrade number if you want the CVSS score. Now, the useful and important piece here is why is it applicable to me? Well, here's the evidence, and it's both, both of them are on line four. The evidence is this, this function yaml, yaml.fullloader and yaml.full underscore load. So the scanner checks and it finds those. So um, here you've got the summary, you've got the remediation information, which is you have to change that to yaml.safeload or safe loader. So that's the only change you need to make. You don't even need to upgrade to a different version. This can save you an awful lot of time. So conversely, here's a, um, a CVE that's not applicable. So there's the CVE number, the version upgrade numbers, the CVSS score, and the contextual analysis here this time says the CVE is not applicable. PIL.image.open is never called. Um, the scanner checks for that and it checks for the argument that would be needed and it's not present so that means that CVE is not applicable so anything that you've got not applicable listed against you don't have to go and fix it so you can move on and get on with doing the CVEs or fixing the CVEs that you need to. Okay next up is secrets so I know some of you use credentials as your coding Sometimes you forget to take them out. This highlights that. It finds them. These found plain text API keys. It tells you the line numbers they were found on, what it means if you um, were to leave those in there, what can happen, and then also how should you fix it. And it gives like how you should remediate, what you should do. Uh, very similar here are the services exposures, the services like Envoy Proxy that you might use. This says, these upstream connections do not verify TLS peer certificates. It gives you the line number, what it means, what can happen, and then again, what, what should you do? And it also gives you some code, which I don't know about you, but it's going to save me an awful lot of time if you've got the code that you need to use to fix the situation. Then application um, exposures. Very similar to the services exposures. This looks at the open source libraries that have been used. This says they do not verify TLS certificates on the servers. It gives you the line number. And again, um, this information here, what does it mean? And, and what should you do? So you can um, check, it tells you exactly what you need to do to, to, to fix that, which is great. Um, just a quick note, there are little hover overs here, which tells you exactly what you're looking at in the UI and what these functions do. Now, here's the other piece. Looking at this Terraform file, it's my IAC file, so let me open it, and then we can see underneath the security issues, we've got a new piece here, IAC. It tells you what it's looking for. So it's looking at the IAC file for misconfigurations or uh, non-best non practices. So let's look at the first one. Authorization is not enforced for all w AWS API gateway methods. It tells you, like before, the line number, what it means, uh, what can happen, and how you can fix it. And it even gives you uh, the code snippet that you need. Perfect. I don't know about you, but for me, that's gonna save me an awful lot of time. I don't have to spend time fixing all of these vulnerabilities if I don't have to. 
with the contextual analysis. These guys show you exactly what's wrong and exactly how to fix it. So this enables you to make sure your applications are done swiftly and securely.